Hello my friends and welcome to my video about the ancient biblical tribute penny coins. Let me first tell you a little bit of who I am. My name is uh, Ilya Zlobin. I'm an expert enthusiast and dealer in ancient coin. My And my set is trustedcoins.com. And let's just get right into it. Okay, so let's first read the passage from the Bible from the King James Version. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Shew me the, show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is the image and superscription? They say unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. So this is a very famous passage from the King James Bible. And basically it shows a scene where Jesus Christ was confronted by agents to try to get him to say uh, whether, you know, you should be uh, paying a tribute to Caesar, which is, you know, the taxes to Caesar. And um, Jesus replied, um, you know, render unto the Caesar all that is Caesar's and render unto God all that is God's. So basically put, I have here the two most likely types that uh, actually were, um, you know, talked about in the Bible. So because this is a translation from the Greek, um, Greek version, the King James version was, uh, it... Uh, talked about the tribute, the penny. The penny pretty much uh, means it's a silver coin. And the only standard coinage that the Romans really issued were the silver denarius coins. And uh, therefore, uh, why the Augustus silver denarius coin, see this coin is in mint state. So what I'm showing you is an example in perfect state of preservation. Uh, so we have the Augustus coin with the Gaius and Lucius Reavers. The reason why uh, the Augustus coin could be one of the two types, um, along with the Tiberius coin, is that it, its commonality there. That uh, it, it was most, it's like um, based on uh, the research that it's 10 times more prevalent in that area of Jerusalem where uh, Jesus would have been confronted by this uh, uh, coinage. Uh, so if a coin was more common, then it, logically speaking, then it's, it's possible that Jesus was confronted by that time. And um, Augustus lived all the way up until 14 AD. So it is possible that, you know, that his coinage was still circulating because his coinage was huge. And, you know, they had the troops to pay. They had uh, the trade going on. So this Augustus coin is... Uh, and Gaius and Lucius were, were one of the two likely heirs, both of which died really early. There is a story that it possibly was uh, because of um, his wife, uh, Olivia. If you watch the show called I, Claudius, I think it's available on YouTube. Um... You could you could actually find out the reason, but nobody really you know truly knows. But it's unfortunate that these two uh, grandsons of Augustus wound up uh, or nephews uh, wound up dying early. But it turned out that actually not the biological son of Augustus, but uh, the son of um, Augustus's wife Livia, Tiberius, was the one that actually inherited uh, the empire from Augustus on his death. So that's kind of interesting. And on the back, he um, features his mother, Livia. Augustus actually started uh, putting Livia on one of his coins uh, before him. So he kind of just copied it. So basically put, if you read this passage, it talks about a silver Roman coin that 
had the word Caesar in them. So whose name superscription is written here? We have the word Caesar. Caesar Divi. Uh, so uh, Divi Augustus. So basically, uh, they inherit... The Roman emperors, what they would do is they would inherit, uh, Caesar became actually a title for prince. So when, when somebody became a Caesar, he became a prince in the Roman Empire. And Augustus became the official emperor title. So uh, stemming from the first Roman emperors. So basically put, these are the two different uh, biblical tribute penny types. And uh, you could also see this uh, same, um, same concept explained in the Wikipedia article. Uh, that you could check, you know, render Caesar or tribute penny coins. And uh, these coins are incidentally available for sale. I have them up on eBay. Uh, this condition is uh, extremely fantastic. Mint State and Choice AU. Choice AU, the only next step after this is Mint State. So look at the uh, look at that portrait of so it's a it's almost uh, you know, see how beautiful the preservation of such a coin is. Most coins don't survive in such a beautiful style and presentation. So when I when I was able to get these two pieces together, as they're very popular, um, I decided to make this video to show you guys. But they're easily found. These two exact coins, if you search on eBay for I, the letter I, 72401, and I, 72400 for the Tiberius coin, uh, you'll be able to see both of them. Or you could search on eBay for the word render, render, and then Caesar, maybe coin. And you should be able to see any of the coins that I have listed up uh, regarding this topic. Again, my friends, uh, my name is Elias Loben. I'm an expert, enthusiast, and dealer. I make uh, videos and uh, articles about coin collecting. It really helps to educate uh, wonderful, you know, people like yourself around about history and get you passionate about collecting these wonderful ancient coins, which are limited in number, hardly significant for our Western uh, civilization and culture, uh, important uh, to the Judeo-Christian, um, you know, um, history. And so much more. And it's like a, a journey to ancient times that we're able to get there. So my site is trustedcoins.com. There's a link right there to my eBay store. That's much easier. And there's links to uh, YouTube videos. You could uh, drop me a line real quick. Uh, this is my email. Uh, these are my phone numbers. You could call me. There's a Skype. And I also recommend uh, signing up to my uh, email list. Uh, it's a list at trustedcoins.com where you could get um, you know, videos like this one in an emails from me well, periodically. Obviously, you know, make money from uh, selling coins. So, uh, yes, I'm uh, profiting from educating people, but I'm very happy to do so, and uh, people love these videos. So if you like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up. It helps people, more people see such wonderful coins. All right, my friends, here's the coins again, and I'm going to let you guys go. There's also an article below this video, the link uh, to the article with pictures of these coins. So even if I don't have them for sale anymore, uh, you could check out the pictures at least. All right, my friends. Have a nice one. Bye.